Welcome back, everyone. Let's have a look at uh, some footage from yesterday. And uh, show everybody that it seems to think all I do is point out upper atmosphere clouds. Uh, yeah, that's not even close. Sure, the upper atmosphere clouds help us see it better as they're not getting illuminated, but I'm not pointing them out as planets. I'm pointing out the darkness behind them. <laughs> but that goes to show, you know, what people actually pay attention to. As you can see in this footage, the sun's coming up on the far right as it goes and gets higher up in the sky. What do you see in the middle there? A lot of darkness. That's what I'm pointing out. The fact that those clouds are dark. <laughs> They're not receiving sunlight. They're not illuminating. I won't say the other guy's name, but yeah, you need to pay more attention if you're going to come, you know, crap on my channel. See how dark it is up there behind the clouds? There shouldn't be dark behind the clouds. Next location. Same thing. Sun comes up, gets pushed down and under. You can already see the streaks coming across the, you know, the sky and the, the blue area of the sky. See how the light is just bending around that area? Just stopped. Now the lights, the sun's coming up and the sunlight is being pushed down and under it along the horizon because it can't illuminate that area right there due to the big planet in the way. I mean, I thought it was pretty clear what I was pointing out on these videos. I'm sure it is to a lot of people except the people that still think flares are planets, but I mean, let's get it together already. Flares aren't planets. Orbs aren't planets. Planets are planets. Planets create big shadows in the sky. Orbs create little, you know, round glowing balls. Balls. <laughs> Same thing again. Look at this. Right in the middle of the sky. Great big shadow. Light going down and under all the way around. See how nothing's illuminating up there? That is what we're looking at. That is what we're, 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 we're trying to find. The areas where there are no illuminated clouds. Places that don't seem like they fit. You know, if, they, if, we, if there's a great big dark area in the sky, you know, you got the sun right next to it and the light is bending around the area. I mean, that's telling you something. There's something blocking the light. I mean, look how dark it is anymore. Look at all that darkness up there. I'm not pointing out the clouds as planets. I'm pointing out the fact that they're not being illuminated. They help us see the fact that there's there something there. That's all I'm trying to show people. It makes it really easy to, to tell where these things are, especially when the sun's not even hitting the lens. There's no, you know, reason for the anomaly. I mean, look at look at the light, how it goes down and under. And you got this weird cloud moving across, not not the one going from, you know, all the way across, the one that went straight up and down in, in the middle there. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. Again, look, watch the light. You know why it's flickering like that? It's got nothing to do with the camera. It's got to do with the fact that the light is trying to bend around something that is rotating. That's why it's flickering. That's why the, the, the sunlight gets so massive when it starts to do this flicker thing. I mean, the light just engulfs everything around it. Like that. See that? That's not from a cloud. Again, we're just watching shadows up here. 
you know, watching the light, seeing what it's doing. That's all I pay attention to. I'm analyzing the, the patterns of the way the light is being distributed behind the clouds because the sun is behind the clouds. So, you know, they should be illuminating. And instead we get these great big dark spots where the sun just pops out of nowhere because it's coming down from behind or, you know, around another planet. The sun is huge and bright and it's going to still get us, you know, all the light we need to see during the day. An eclipse is not like, you know, the little dot that the moon puts on the earth. Everybody seems to think, you know, in their minds that when the moon gets in front of the, you know, the sun, the entire planet goes dark. And that's not how it is. It's a little tiny dot, a black dot on the planet that's a shadow from the moon that moves across the earth in a small little tiny path. There's nothing that's going to block out the sun for everyone. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. I mean, we've got, you know, upper atmosphere clouds that come in and just, I mean, look to the right of the, of the sun. None of it's illuminating. Great big shadows that just sit there. The sun just dropped behind a great big shadow. And I know you think that, well, that's just a cloud. Well, the f*** it is. Clouds don't leave a, a, a you know, a, a standing round shadow as they move by. They would take the shadow with them if they were just dark clouds. Again, look at this. You got clouds coming in and the light is breaking around the side of the sky. <laughs> you got bunches of, I mean, look at that. This is now splitting the sky. The, the sky is splitting the sun in half. It's got nothing to do with the clouds. It's the blue sky. And what does that mean? That means the blue sky is the backside of something else. Because if it was just blue sky up there, no planets at all, we would not be having all these great big dark areas. Light bending around in areas. I mean, the sun looking all crazy and whatnot, having all these weird shapes, clouds that just, you know, come away from the sun and go into darkness. I mean, look at that. The sun just went from beach ball size to baseball size, back to softball size. I mean, it's obvious the sun is going down and around things. Look, another round shadow in front of the sun. Imagine that. I mean, this is, you know, it doesn't have to be super science. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on. I mean, not for the people that are consistently calling flares planets, but you know, what can I do? Have a great day, everyone.